Hey guys, this is Joe from Excel by Joe. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to format a slicer to uh, make it look like uh, like the rest of your table. Uh, formatting slicer is not as straightforward as formatting other objects, so let's get right into today's video. All right, so here we are with our data and our slicers. So we've got our data table here. We've got the pivot table which created, and then here is our slicer, our slicers that we're going to use. I want to format these two slicers and just kind of show you how we how we do them. So if you click on the slicer, there's a slicer menu up on top. You can manually adjust the size. It's also, you can also do that here by the height. You can do the height of the, of the actual button or the width of the button. You could do the height and width of the, of the full box. Um, if you want the number of columns, but that's pretty much it as far as what you can, you can do. I mean, you can resize it to help a little bit. You can click on slicer settings, which helps, which can tell you if you want to have a header, you can just get rid of the header if you want. You can change the name of the, of the salesman. You can, this could maybe be salesperson. Uh, if you want to send or descending. And you can also hide, I always hide items with no data. If we happen to be clicking on something where there's no data, we don't want, I don't want them to show up, but you can, that's up to you. So those are just the basics, which you can easily find how to, how to do that formatting. If you want to get more advanced with the formatting, we're going to use these slicer styles here. So what you could do, here's the a predefined slicers. You can click on one, see, and it, it'll change it. All it does pretty much is change the color. If you want to really get into formatting it, say you want, we want to change the font, we want to change the size, change the, the borders and so on. What you want to do is you want to find one of these and we're going to right click on it and go to duplicate and what do we want to duplicate so we're going to name it i'm going to call this green one okay we named it green one and i'm going to click okay so now if you click this little drop down here we've got a custom one made and this is where we're going to edit it we're going to right click and we go go to modify so modify this is where we can format our slicer to look how we want and we're going to just do the whole slicer we're going to just do everything and we're going to click on format and what do we want the slicer to look at well i already called it green so let's let's give it a green but we'll give it a dark green color how do we want the font let's click on different fonts and see which one maybe might look good here Arial nova that looks pretty good i want it bolded in italics though and i want I want it kind of big too. I want the letters to be really big. I'm going to put 16. We can always make this bigger. And we'll keep a border. And let's actually, let's make the border though black. And we'll click OK. We'll click OK here. Now nothing happened here because this is still set up as the initial one we did. So now with this clicked, we drop down here and we click on custom. There, so now we formatted this really differently. So what we can do, let's uh, change this to two, two columns. And there, so now we have our, and see here how it's connected. Here's Michael, if we got Dwight and Michael and Jim, maybe if we want just Phyllis and Stanley, and there's their sales. So that's how we can format one in general. Then if you want to adjust it more, you click on it, go back up to Slicer, go back up to Custom, and we're going to do Modify again. We'll format it, and maybe we don't want the fill to be green. Maybe we want the fill, fill to be maybe a lighter green. And we didn't like the font. So I'm gonna change it to this font. We'll click OK. And there we go. We can make the height of the the buttons even bigger. And I think it looks pretty pretty decent for uh, for a slicer, and it looks way different than your standard slicer that looks like this. Now 
let's format this one, but let's do it a little different way. So I'm gonna pick one again, and let's do it with the yellow one. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna duplicate it. And click OK. So now, let's make this one the yellow one. So this is our custom one that we just made. We're gonna right click on it and we're gonna modify. Now let's change things around a little bit. Let's start, Let's instead of doing the whole slicer, we're gonna just do certain items here. So let's format the header first. And say for the header, we don't want a border. We don't want any fill, but we want a real big font. So I'm gonna put 22, click okay. Now, well, let's do say, selected items with data. So when you click on the item, what do we want the, the cell to look like basically? Um, this is decent font. We do bold italics. We'll do it 14. And we'll underline it. Click OK. What about, say, if we have unselected data with item with data? So what ha what do we want it to look like if it's not selected? And you can really get detailed with this. Say we want, I want to strike through it. I want it regular. I want it size of 10 and that, that looks fine so we'll click OK and we click OK and there so now when I pick New Jersey see how all the other ones there's a strike through through them so you can tell that oh we're not looking at New Jersey let me clear this out so now here's all the New Jersey sales what if we want Pennsylvania and New Jersey there's the other two that don't have uh, any uh, data in it because or they don't have they're not selected but the other ones that are selected are yellow and they're underlined and then you can format it even more if you want let's just take a quick look to before we finish here and if you want what how, how do you want it to be if hovered if you hover over it what happens if you hover over a selected item with data let's Make those bright red. Everything else can be just basic. We click OK. And look at this. Oh, we're hovering over them. And they're red. We clear out the filter. And they're red. So you can really get pretty detailed with this. I see how I got rid of the borders here also. If we get rid of the borders on the whole page... This would just kind of fit right in without a border. You can get rid of this border if you wanted. It, lo it looks kind of nice w with it there. And that's really it for formatting. Uh, you can really get pretty detailed and make the slicers look a lot better and fit right in with your data from your tables or charts or whatever you, you uh, want it to look like. So that's it for this video. Uh, have a good one. And don't forget subscribe and press the like button if you like this that really help out the channel thanks a lot see ya